everybody, welcome back to Team Pajamas. I've got my pumpkin spice life shirt on because as you know, pumpkin, I like all things pumpkin spice pretty much. I've even had gnocchi and ravioli <laughs> with pumpkin in it. Uh, okay, this tea is not spooky, but the cat is. And uh, <laughs> the fact that this has hibiscus in it, it's got a nice red color to it. This one is Tazo. Tea's passion. It's as he's plunged into a paradise of lush hibiscus, orange peel, and rose hips. This one's caffeine free. You steep it at 100 degrees for five minutes, and the electric tea cuddle I have, the lowest it goes is 120. And the only only way to measure it exactly for temperature would be if I use my saucepan and had a cooking thermometer, like a candy thermometer or something, which I don't have. So this brewed at a little higher temperature than, or steeped rather, yeah, steeped, brewed, ah, I need to wake up. It's higher temperature than what it would normally be, according to the package. And what was it again? Oh. Yeah, with the uh, a rose peel, hibiscus, and orange. It's not as sour as a red zinger. It's pleasant. With the hibiscus and the rose hips mixed together. Although with the red zinger, they do something to make it sour, and I don't remember exactly what that is. I forget. But out of the two, I prefer this. It's it's a bit tart, but not as tart. It's not made to be sour. It's just a nice, pleasant, fruity, flowery tea. And that rattling in the background is Stitch banging around on my stuffed table. And hopefully he doesn't knock my gargoyle over again. It's a resin gargoyle, heavy plastic, hard plastic, so he can't break it, but he can definitely give it a good pushing around. And speaking of my favorite experiment, oh, there he goes. But anyway, I digress. Yes, I definitely like this better than Celestial Seasonings Red Zinger. It's pleasantly tart, and as I said, it, it's, it doesn't set out to be purposely sour. It's just the way it's blended. It's tangy. And actually, the combination of the three is almost reminiscent of strawberries. And at this time of season, this time of year, this season, if you want themed things, you're having a Halloween brunch or Halloween breakfast, and none of your friends are allergic to any of these ingredients, this would be a nice tea to have for a Halloween breakfast. And um, a lot of people like to do mimosas, which are orange juice and champagne. Um, off the top of my head, and I'm pretty sure someone's done it before, um, perhaps cranberry juice and champagne would work because of the color, nice red color, or red grape juice, depending on how sweet you want your drink to be. I had, I put some blood red glaze on my, um, Kodiak uh, cinnamon oatmeal pancakes this morning because I didn't have any syrup. That was actually pretty good. It's like a nice sugar syrup mixed with the cinnamon. Look at the cinnamon sugar flavor. But I needed to pitch the rest of it because I've had it for over a year. So I'm not sure. I forgot to check the expiration date and I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if it was still good or not. Um... 
That'd be another thing. Pancakes with red, some type of red syrup. Um, black pancakes. Uh, if you like healthy pancakes, the Kodiak Cakes dark chocolate is nice. They're not black, but they're dark brown. There are a lot of things you can do for a Halloween breakfast, and I'm sure a lot of Uh, websites have things that you can do that have already been said and done and all that good happy stuff in fact I'm pretty sure there's even ways you can make your hard-boiled eggs look like eyeballs without deviling them there's all you know just things you can do that are fun um, but I would again go back to Sir William Wells this goth can cook for his recipe for lychee eyeballs which are lychee fruit with a blueberry and raspberry melba. Put the melba in the whole for the lychee fruit, stuff in the blueberry, and then it looks like an eye. I haven't tried those yet. Um, I haven't had friends over, sadly. <laughs> and I haven't been to a party since last year. No, year before last. Um, when Red Velvet Underground had like a Halloween, not really even a party, just... You know, you could just go and hang out. They did well. They did kind of have a party. They had um, a group that I thought was somebody that was from online, but it wasn't. It was they used the name, and it was a standard cover band that was not that great. And now I can't even remember the name that they were using. Sad. So, yes, it's been over a year since I've been to a Halloween celebration. Um, last year I didn't dress up because I was in the midst of moving. I'm getting situated looking for an apartment here. Uh, I have a costume this year. It's not scary. It's just cute. Um, slightly reminiscent of what I did, like I said, when I handed out candy at my sister's the one time when I was watching our mom when she had to go somewhere out of town. So it'll be cute. It won't be spooky because you can't scare the kids <sighs> and it has to fit in the dress code. So it can't be anything revealing or can't be revealing or scary. You can't wear a mask. Apparently you can't wear makeup either. Okay then. <coughs> Taking the fun out of it. Anyway, um... What have I got coming up? Um, still waiting on a surprise package from Ashley. <coughs> I probably won't get one because what I would want would be stuff that she wouldn't have. Um, I mentioned basically, she asked me scrap fabric, uh, cross stitch, and I said, those would be good. So at some point, if she has some of those things, maybe she'll send them. Uh, still waiting on the documents I need to push push along the qualification for the VA home loan. And as I think I've mentioned, and I'm trying not to mention too much information, my credit score took a hit because I made a late payment on one card. Ouch. I, not intentional. It's just life happens. So, so I've got to repair, re-repair my credit. And I'm still waiting on the documents. I got it was toward the beginning of this year. Still haven't gotten them. The year's almost over. Still don't have the money I'm supposed to get from the IRS and the state of New Mexico. And the check that I'm not even going to think about anymore because I'll believe it when I get it. All that stuff needs to happen as well. I've got so many things that need to happen. I need. I probably should. I bite the bullet and um, do a $30 run to the courthouse when I've got the money to get another copy of my birth, get a copy of my birth certificate, and I might have to pay again and possibly end up with two copies because I need to get. Stitch, please behave yourself. 
I need to get uh, my driver's license before it expires. I'll be, you know, without a license. Stitch, stop. <clears throat> and we don't want that to happen. So, anyway, still waiting on all the documents. Have some credit, uh, minor credit repair to do, things like that. Um, speaking of Stitch, um, his appointment is, has been made for next month. He goes to Curter Junction for um, two days to get neutered. And then now all I have to do is come up with the money for the pet deposit. And 250 bucks is very, that's a very big demand coming from my budget. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to swing that, but I'll have to figure it out somehow. Um, no more Halloween shopping. Um, because, you know, I've got this little guy to take care of. And other things to deal with. Other bills and stuff I've got to round up and get, get paid down. So, sorry I wasn't more of a happy-go-lucky person this morning, but there we have it. Um, like I said, Stitch is going to the vet next month. I'm still waiting on paper, still waiting on the documents I need. Um, credit needs repair again, which means I will need to reapply for my VA home loan. So, it's shot. Um, so... And back to the tea. This again, this is very good tea. Uh, Tazo Passion. It would be wonderful for Halloween because of the color. And the um, rose hips and the hibiscus with a little bit of orange peel, to me, tastes a lot better than the Celestial Seasonings Red Zinger because this is trying to be pleasant. It's not trying to be in your face like a Sour Patch Kid. And again, like I said, it'd be good for Halloween breakfast. Um, Red Zinger would be too if you like sour things, but I prefer this one. It's a lot more pleasant. And again, ideas, um, if you want to have a fancy brunch and do mimosas, um, go ahead and substitute something red, a red juice for the orange juice. Um, dark chocolate pancakes, black pancakes, and yeah, eyeball... <coughs> <coughs> hard-boiled hard eggs, um, you could probably even, if you have children, uh, get the pancake molds that look like Halloween cookies kind of things, you know, um, headstones, monster faces, bats, things like that, um, you could probably dress your French toast to look like headstones. <coughs> <coughs> You could probably add green or black to your scrambled eggs, or maybe red, and it look like blood clots. Um, the sky's the limit. You know, you're you know you're only limited by your imagination this time of year, so go nuts with it. Have a lot of fun. And I guess that's it for the pumpkin beer for me until I find some more. Um, Halftime does not deliver to Wisconsin, and I would have had to have a person to sign for my package if it came while I was at work. So unfortunately, I will not be able to get the half time that I've mentioned on my Facebook that I wanted to get because wrong part of the country and I need a, someone to sign. Although they did say they will try, they would attempt to deliver. They could attempt to deliver several times, which means they could try three times and if I'm not home to sign for it, then I don't, you know, I don't get my package. And this bloodthirsty east Stitch, be a good boy. Be a good boy. Don't be a vampire, okay? <coughs> <coughs> okay. It's going to be fun trying to get him trained. Um, and I totally lost my train of thought. Anyway, let's just wrap this up. Have a wonderful day. Please hit the thumbs up if you like the video. <laughs> feel free to comment and share keep the comments friendly and um, I'll see you next time
I've got to wrangle, wrangle a wild beastie. I love you guys. Bye.